we are going up to the Hollywood Bowl. There's you. I mush or mush more. You know I had a bad idea. Not to John Williams fans tonight, but he has yeah. he is a legend. Going up to the Hollywood Bowl. A lot of people. Now we have multiple entrances to different levels. We've got a wine bar. You got our tickets for John Williams tonight. And how fantastic. <laughs> so here we are at the Hollywood Bowl. Just got past security. There's a lot of people here. Gonna Lots see, of Star Wars fans. Yeah, I'm going to see John Williams. Lots of different routes to go. I'm not exactly sure where we're going, but there's popcorn here and a wine bar up there. More from inside. Let's go. Okay. Let's see where we're going to find our seats. A lot of truck up here. Put in good shape. We got refreshments in. Okay, F3K. That's where we're going. Check out and see what snacks they got. Okay. Popcorn, popcorn, pretzels, cookies, hot dogs. Okay. Not bad. <laughs> Oh, the Hollywood Bowl is a lot bigger in person. Very nice. Okay. We are sitting in, what's it, G2. And here we are, we found our seats. We're in row 8. 12 and 14 of section G2. Pretty good seats. Could be a, a lot higher up. <laughs> no, maybe not. Maybe not. Bowl hot dog. Not the most interesting. I know you are taking a picture of me. Hey. No, we got some, a little bit of wine in here. Oh, maybe. It's like a wine cube. It's kind of in the dark, but it's there. Now it's lightsabers. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for joining us this evening, joining us with our great Los Angeles Philharmonic Orchestra, the Summer Holiday Orchestra, Dr. Winter at Disney Ball. And I am very, very happy to be here with you tonight, sharing the evening. I want to thank David Newman for joining me tonight. And if you will permit me just a moment or two of, of personal reminiscence, let me just tell you about David's illustrious father, Alfred Newman, who was a mythical figure when I was growing up in film music. Many of you will remember him. Fantastic conductor and a great composer. And he engaged me to be a pianist in his orchestra, I think in 1957. The first film I played for him was South Pacific, I remember that very well, so I think it was 1957. And I was 12. <laughs> <laughs> I played with him in orchestra for a few years. And David Newman was born in 1954. And Alfred, his father, was so kind to me, after the very first session I played with him, he invited me and my young wife to his house, have dinner with David's mother, Martha, and that became an occasion that we repeated several times, and Alfred Newman was so encouraging and so wonderful to me and so generous, and I'm remembering so many of the early opportunities that I have had are a direct result of the Newman family. And it's now to have David here and being so brilliant as he is, uh, it's a thrill for me to remember all that. Let me tell you a little bit about what's coming up next in the program. It's some music from Star Wars The Force Awakens. Now, many, many of you will have seen the film. 
I'll just tell you that when I first uh, ran the film with J.J. Abrams, I became completely smitten with, with Ray, R-E-Y, the, the young lady that played Ray. And her name was Daisy, and Daisy Ridley, and um, she, she, she had the screen with Adam Driver and Harrison Ford. It was a fantastic cast. But this young woman, I don't, I'm not sure if it was her first film or not, but she was as fresh as spring. She was amazing. And I, I couldn't take my eyes off of her, and she seemed to command the film at every moment she was on screen, whether she was funny or serious, sad or comedic. Uh, her athletic ability is astounding. You remember in the film her running and sword fighting and all the things that she did so brilliantly. So recently, Disney Studios asked me if I would do the next episode of Star Wars. And I, said, and I, I thought I wanted to think about it for a minute. <laughs> But then I made up my mind, because I didn't want anybody else writing music for Ray. <laughs> so, so smitten was I, and still am. So here, here are a few segments of the musical score from, from Force Awakens. I want to thank J.J. Abrams and Disney also for letting us have these film clips that you will see. Uh, very generous of them to let us see them. And it's, it's really in kind of a narrative form. It's a little bit of a synopsis of the film. And we'll give you also a smattering of some of the themes in the musical score. Theme. Oh. Edwin's theme, but I'll forgive it. 